I know many of you have Word or PDF files of a bunch of multiple choice quiz questions that you print off and hand out to your students to run that test or that quiz. Then you're gonna to have to manually grade them. So instead of doing all of that, let's convert those quiz questions into an interactive PowerPoint file. This way you can get live responses and do automatic grading and feedback. And the best part about all of it, you don't need to recreate your work. In this video, I'm gonna show you how we can easily convert that multiple choice Word file into an interactive PowerPoint file with an automatic scoreboard. If you do have a PDF file instead of a Word document, no problem, you can still follow along with this video. But if you want a PDF specific video, take a look at the video linked up above to learn how to turn any PDF, quiz file or not, into an interactive PowerPoint. All right, our first step is to put all of our multiple choice quiz questions into our PowerPoint file. To do that, of course, we can open up our Word file straight from PowerPoint. So when you're doing this, just make sure that instead of browsing all your PowerPoint presentations, change it to all of your files. Then you can open up your Word document straight into PowerPoint. However, you might notice that the formatting is not really ideal and will take a long time to correct, especially if you have anywhere over 25 questions. So then you might say, okay, Sarah, let's open up our file then and just copy and paste question by question and answer choice by answer choice into our PowerPoint file. However, that also sounds very time consuming. So instead, let's task AI in converting each one of these questions into their very own PowerPoint slide. This should work with just about any format, so no matter if your questions are numbered or not, if your answer choices are labeled A, B, C, D, or just bullets, and if you have the answer included or not. So we're going to use ChatGPT to help us generate a VBA code to turn this file into a PowerPoint file. Now you might hear VBA code and get a little frightened, but don't worry, I have everything done for you located down in the description below. So you guys can open up that file to follow along and it just has the first prompt of using this starter VBA code, just replace the data with your very own quiz data. So that's really only work. the only work that we need to do is putting in our own quiz data into this prompt. So to do that, click Control A in your quiz file, that way you select all of your quiz questions, then Control C to copy it then back into your VBA code. We'll scroll all the way down to the bottom and just do control V to paste in all of your information. Then do that same step of control A and control C again. And now we can go into ChatGPT and control V, paste that prompt, the VBA starter code and your quiz data right in there. And ChatGPT will then update the VBA code provided with your very own quiz data. Once that whole generation process is complete, we can just click this copy code here at the top. Then we can go into any open PowerPoint file in the developer tab. If you guys don't have this developer tab, don't worry, super easy to get access. Just right click anywhere on the ribbon, click customize the ribbon, and you'll just wanna make sure that the, the, the developer tab is checked. Then we'll go into Visual Basic, insert a new module, then control V to paste that code that we copied from ChatGPT, click play, and it will automatically create that brand new PowerPoint file for us. So you can see that every question and its answer choices are their very own slide, and that answer choice that we had before isn't included. That way we don't need to go slide by slide and delete all of them. ChatGPT might not give the same results every time. So if you do notice something a little bit different about your file, go back into ChatGPT, explain what you don't like, and it will generate a new VBA code for you that you can then use, run through those same steps to create a brand new updated PowerPoint file. All right, step number two, let's do a little bit of design formatting and make these slides interactive so we can engage our students. To design and format all of your slides at once, we can control A on our slides. Then in the view tab, let's select slide master and we can adjust um, the questions and the answer choices all at once from here. So select this top heading to change up your font or your color, things like that, um, all at once. And then in the bottom, we can select this top heading here to do the same for our answer choices. With these answer choices, they already do have that A, B, C, D. So I'm going to remove the bullet points. That way they don't have both of those determining factors. Then we can close our slide master and you guys can see that all of your slides have been updated to match. You can continue designing these slides as needed in your design tab, adding any images as well.
Now, to make these slides interactive, we're gonna be using the free PowerPoint add-in class point that will be located here in your PowerPoint ribbon. If you guys don't have this tab, you can download it for free at classpoint.io. Then once you're signed in, only thing we need to do is just click that multiple choice button to add our multiple choice interactive button to our slide. Then we can customize the options and answer choices here. So we have four options and four is already selected, then we can select our correct answer. If you need to refer back to your document with your answer choices, you can do that. Then we'll do the same thing for every one of our slides. But before we do that, I just want to point out that if you guys do want some auto scoring, I would recommend turning on quiz mode. That way your students are automatically awarded some stars based on the level of question that you select here. So let me go through and update all of the rest of the slides with our multiple choice button. Once that's done, that's really all the setup that we need. You guys can then run this PowerPoint file with your students just doing a quiz session. Or if you want, we can copy these questions and paste them into an existing PowerPoint file that you have that you might be using for a lesson. If you realize you don't have enough questions or want a refresher of these quiz questions, we can use ClassPoint AI to generate some new questions for us. So you can use it in your existing PowerPoint file and generate questions based on some information that you already have, or we can go back into our question file here and just get a refresh of some of our questions. So to do that, we'll enter our presentation mode and you'll see some class point features located here on the toolbar. One of them is our AI quiz. So we can click on that and we can adjust our options. That way we're just getting a multiple choice and you can adjust the level of Bloom's taxonomy if you're looking to have a more difficult or less difficult question there. Then we can generate and ClassPoint AI will come up with a brand new question based on that information from our question slide. Then we can insert that right into our PowerPoint presentation. And back in PowerPoint edit mode, we can adjust to make it on the same design and format as the rest of our slides. Now that we're all set up, let me show you how to present it with your class. So we can enter our PowerPoint presentation mode. And first things first, we need to invite our students to join. So you can click on the class code up here in the corner and invite your students to either scan this QR code or go to classpoint.app using any browser on any device. Then they can type in the class code and their name and they'll be able to join in. Once all of your students are joined and you're ready to begin receiving the live responses, you just need to click on that multiple choice button. As they submit, you can see their responses. However, if you don't want them to see their classmates' responses, just minimize this window. And then once all of your students have submitted, you can see based on the number on this button, you can open the question back up and close this question. From there, the correct answer will automatically be shown and any students who got the correct answer will have been awarded stars if you're using quiz mode. As you go through your presentation and ask more quiz mode questions, you can check out this quiz summary for a brief overview on how your students are doing and all of this can be exported as an Excel report later for review after class. And don't worry, I didn't forget about the leaderboard. If you have a more fun quiz question or want to kind of do a competition or motivate your students, you can show them where they're ranking against their peers with the leaderboard down here on the toolbar. From there, we have the total stars rank and our current class rank based on their individual performance. However, you can also group your students and show them their group ranking. Excellent. Now you know how to reuse any of your old multiple choice word documents and put them into an interactive PowerPoint presentation. That way you can better engage and interact with your audience, whether that's throughout your lessons or if you're just doing a live quiz session for that automatic grading and feedback. No matter how big that file is, this will help you speed up that process to reuse your materials because we want to work smarter and not harder. Thank you guys for watching. Take a look at the ClassPoint channel for other EdTech tips and tricks and videos about ClassPoint. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. To learn more about ClassPoint and the other interactive quiz question types that you can implement into your PowerPoint files, take a look at these videos.